welcome back to Joy Man's Land. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today, I was thinking, what kind of video am I gonna make? It's a good, quick turnaround time. My fiance's just getting her nails done and it's not really enough time to do a gear review. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna make a video of walking around, taking photos and just having a good time. I was on the live cast the other night on Selective Imagery. If you'd like to check out his channel, check out my left hand here. He does live casts every single Saturday night. And uh, Randall Brander was on there. He said, man, you should just keep doing more of your photo walks and having a good time. So that's what we're gonna do today. I am just going to walk around and maybe pop my drone up and take some photos with the S5 II and also try out a different mic location. I've got my Ulanzi wireless mic just on the tip of my hat here, hoping that that might uh, sound pretty good. So without further ado, let's uh, get to walking around. We'll get some B-roll and uh, then we'll wrap it up somewhere that's peaceful and not too windy. <laughs> Already really liking about where the mic is on my hat is I can feel it and I find sometimes when I wear my mic anywhere else I like get worried I'm gonna drop it especially where I'm doing a walk and talk like this you know you kind of lose track of things as you're going so you know it's pretty uh it's pretty awesome I like where it is man it's definitely a little bit windy out today but it's not like too bad it's just really really overcast and when it's overcast like this you don't usually get great photos but either way we are gonna quickly pop up the drone we'll do a quick fly over by the river. Maybe we'll get some good shots. Maybe we won't, but either way, we will uh, have a quick look. And as you guys can see, shooting with the Mini 3 Pro today, this has been my daily driver for my drone for the last, say, year and a half now. You know, the Mini 4 Pro is out, not the drone for me, if you'd like to know why. Check about my left hand here, but this drone definitely still does everything that I need. So let's uh, pop this guy up in the air. We'll get some quick B-roll, and we'll also take some photos as well. towers being cropped just in between those two buildings let's just punch in a little bit and you can see there's a bit of a break in the sky just kind of around that area which is like pretty cool so let's get a quick photo here and i love the reflections we're kind of getting in the river here and how they're reflecting the buildings over there that's honestly pretty darn cool i like kind of wish I could have come out during golden hour because I mean it's it's so warm it's like eight degrees right now which if you saw my uh walking a polar vortex video check my left hand here if you haven't seen that that was like two weeks ago it was literally minus 50 outside so to go from that to plus seven is crazy like I, I know we're used to that here in Calgary but it still surprises me sometimes <laughs> I don't know. He just he had cool eyes and the family was really nice. They said, yeah, you can take a photo of him. So yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you just have to make do with what's around you. And sometimes it's the tiny furry dog with cool eyes. We've made it to the coffee spot. I mean, just, just look at how cool this old building is. Like that's like, you just want to have coffee there. I feel like this is such a good spot. Was cool. They even let me film a little bit of the coffee being made. This coffee is so good. It's filled in Sebastian's. Love it a ton. There's a ton of water coming down from the ceiling here. I don't don't like that. I'm just under the scaffolding. Ah, oh, I just got hit. Anyways, but no, this is a great, great little coffee spot. Anyways, let's just go uh, find a little spot where the lights a bit better, and we'll wrap this video up. One 
something that's kind of cool is I'm loving these reflections I'm getting of the uh, bow building there and then that down here. So let's get a let's get a quick vertical photo of the tower. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just thought I'd try booming the camera up super far away to see how the range works on this microphone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't really like a specific walk and talk or anything like that, but it was a ton of fun just getting out to shoot and not necessarily have an agenda, but I got lots of cool stuff coming up on the channel. I will be sharing with you guys soon. In fact, I'm actually going to Toronto this week for a couple days. So I will be taking my ZV-1 with me just to get a couple street photos while I'm there. So that will be the next video. And after that, who knows, got a couple irons in the fire, but don't want to talk too much about that yet. Let's wrap this one here. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and remember to take beautiful photos every single day. Don't do it for the views, do it for yourself. And I look forward to seeing you all in another video super soon. <laughs>